Hello, hello. Welcome to Vlogmas Day One. Um, it's here, folks. Hi guys, how are you doing today? My name is Kidney J. The J stands for jerk because my kidneys are a pair of jerks and this is an Amberlynn Reed video. We are in the vlog miss days. Now there is a lot to unpack because I'm a little bit behind. So there are a couple of vlogs in here. Um, so she had this video that I'm well, this clip I'm about to show you is called I'm Getting Weight Loss Surgery, Starting Weight Watchers Vlog Weigh In 25 to 26. Now, I had read on Twitter that, listen, this is clickbait. She's not getting weight loss surgery, so I am not playing the whole vlog at all. I'm actually just going to show you the clip about her weight loss surgery. We also are in a new Weight Watchers era, which by the way, I know quite a bit, a lot, someone near and dear to me actually went on Weight Watchers, was su successful, lost over a hundred pounds. Um, so I know a bit about that, but again, I like to learn from you guys. Leave a comment down below. While you're there, hit like and subscribe. But let's go with this first little clip, clickbaiting weight loss surgery. To randomly come on here and just like talk about what I'm thinking about. I am getting new insurance that is going to make it to where I could possibly get weight loss surgery. This is something that is really important to me. Hello? She's calling because we've got you scheduled for an upcoming telehealth. So I was just going to check with you and see if you're having any medication issues or if you're just needing a refill. Yeah, no medication issues, just a refill. Is it a medication she just recently put you on? No, um, it's medicine I've been on. Have you had any medication changes since your last visit with us? Yeah, we decreased my medicine a lot. And she will see you closer to your appointment time. Okay, thank you. Oh, that's okay, so let's unpack that because as usual, I got ahead of myself. So she basically says she's going to switch her insurance to where she could possibly maybe perhaps get weight loss surgery um she also uh just showed us a phone call with her doctor because she says she has a therapy appointment a telehealth appointment coming up i guess she showed that to show people look i go to my appointments they're asking about any medication changes um for me because i have a lot going on i would have my little booklet and I would say, yes, uh, there has been a medication decreased, this medication on this date by this dosage, but that's just me. So at least she knew it was decreased, I guess. So this vlog we're going to jump into is called Decorating Our Christmas Tree and Weight Loss Surgery Update, Christmas Tree Emoji, Vlogmas, Day 1. Open the first gift. Let's do it, let's do it, let's do it. Wait, what? Okay, guys, so her and Feline, Jade, wifey, whatever, are going to open a gift every day, every other day. I don't know the schedule they have going, but um, here she is proudly showing off her Play-Doh, which I don't know might be ages, what, 2 to 10, 2 to 12, but she says, um, guys, don't make fun of me because I am nurturing my inner child because I never had much of a childhood. So I am having, you know, all of these infantile presents now. Fine. Um, for me personally, uh, material things aren't a huge part of my life. I rather experience, like, fill my life at this point with experiences and memories. Hey, but that's her. That's what she's doing. So just so you know, I am going to be covering Vlogmas as much as I can with her, but I'm going to be cutting out a lot of that nonsense. Nonsense. Not interested. And here she is doing the tree. <laughs> I didn't know where to put them. All right, I want you guys to be with me. For hanging my first one. Yay! Right here. Now, I Bam. have no problem with this. This is a nice experience. Jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle. A tradition you do every year. No problem with this. Jingle love it. Bell rock. I love you the most. I love you the most. <laughs> okay. 
Okay, so comment down below if you watch Foodie Beauty. Was that a dig at the I love it the most? Let me know. So I have a couple random updates. If you guys remember in my vlog yesterday, I thought I was getting sick because my throat was hurting. I have some like pus pockets. Wait, do I? Okay. Blech. Pus pockets, my least favorite kind of pockets. So she suffers, that's her favorite word by the way, suffers from, I guess, reoccurring like throat infections or throat stones or pus pockets, which um, is basically your body fighting off infection. It's a buildup of white blood cells and you get these pus pockets. Still? Hold on. Dr. Lynn, here we go. I love Let's how look. she goes this in with the mirror. light. <laughs> oh. Okay. My pus pockets have gotten better. So, I know it's like so gross. I'm sorry, you guys. And my throat, it still hurts. It doesn't hurt worse. So, another update. This is upsetting and it's not something I knew. I don't know if it's like a new thing that Kentucky's doing. But if you have individual insurance, it does not cover weight loss surgery regardless of what insurance you have or it's considered private insurance individual private whatever it may whatever it's called okay but um because i talked to an insurance agent that's weird because there are people like me in kentucky who obviously need weight loss surgery so insurance won't be covering that and that's very unfortunate so that's still not going to stop me from saying that I am going to get weight loss surgery. I know a lot of people are like, clickbait, bitch, no. That's called positive affirmation. Bitch, yes. You legit titled the vlog, I am getting weight loss surgery. You could do your positive affirmations in the mirror. Maybe, I don't know, do a full length mirror. Go to Marshall's Girl and say your little positive affirmations all you want. Don't clickbait it in a title. This is not your first time. This is not your second time, third time, fourth time clickbaiting. Remember just, I think it was in September, you had a vlog called thyroid cancer and then you switched it to risk of thyroid cancer because you clickbait these health issues. So bitch yes. That is called goals. I am going to get weight loss surgery. So I ended up calling the place where I want the weight loss surgery and I asked them, I actually called today, and I asked them like, how much is it going to cost? right out of pocket like self-pay etc etc and it comes out to twenty three thousand dollars so a lot of you can be like oh you have that money you spend money on uber eats okay let's not twenty three thousand dollars is a lot of money and i do not spend that on uber eats i allow myself to spend money on things that i want it's no one's business what i do with my money first of all i'm not hurting i'm very lucky girl you just showed us the gifts that Feline buys you, what you're going to buy Feline, all your Christmas shopping. So you're making a, making it our business via your vlogs what you spend your money on. But that's neither here nor there. So I did a little bit of Googling about um, weight loss surgery. So it looks like it is 15000 to 23000 Now her insurance agent told her it would probably be 23000 maybe given, um, you know, previous health concerns, health risks, maybe it's on the higher end for her. Um, but 23,000 for that surgery, when you look at the big picture and what you would spend basically on your health because you're overweight and you have all these other comorbidities, um, you know, you'll probably spend a lot more than that. Um, as well as, you know, um, it's been shown women who are obese learn, um, earn 6% less income. Um, fuel costs, I didn't know this, fuel costs are more for obese people because for every 100 pounds, there is a 2% decrease in fuel efficiency, did not know. So you could do the math with Amberlynn Reed. I know she doesn't uh, drive, but she is a passenger. So all these costs added up over time would probably less be less than 23,000. I do believe Amberlynn Reed does, she understands that, I do believe. Um, and yeah, so she'll have to save for the surgery and that's what she's going on about.
risky for the money that I make and I'm very, very grateful. I just hate that people think, oh, you order from Uber Eats, so go to inpatient care. Inpatient care already within itself um, for how long people stay, um, how much it costs, whatever it may be, that's even more expensive than weight loss surgery. I do wonder if she asked her insurance provider if inpatient care, any kind, would be covered. And I know that in like future videos, me, because I am actively going to be saving money for weight loss surgery, by the way. That, that was my update to let you guys know. I woke up today kind of in a, like a grumpy mood, lack of spleen. I was trying to, you know, bring spirits out for me and just be a sweet little cutie pie honey bunch. Shit, you've reached. Could you imagine being anyone's friend, girlfriend, boyfriend, whatever, and feel like it's your responsibility to make them happy and feel better? Um... Mm, not for me. Not that, you know, I don't do nice things for people. I'm there for people when they need me. But, you know, to feel responsible for someone else's happiness? No, ma'am. This point on my channel where I feel guilty saying I'm so tired because people in the comments. I have 29 kids and I work 17 jobs. I'm the tired one. What are you talking about? Like, bro. I am just letting you guys know I'm not downplaying people who are mothers or work or fathers who are busy, etc. I'm just saying I wish people would top, stop downplaying how I feel and that I'm tired because I suffer with massive insomnia due to trauma. We're okay. <laughs> I honestly, I don't know what to say. I try not to... <sighs> compare myself to others because I know I'm tired on the daily. Dialysis takes a lot out of me for sure. There is nothing I can do about that. I am tired. Um, treatments, it just, it just happens as well as hemoglobin issues. I'm not going to get into. Um, but you can't say that weight does not play a role in in your fatigue, Amber, which you could have done and should be doing something about. I know you're talking about weight loss, loss surgery, all that stuff. Fine. I'm glad you're taking steps. But girl, you've had time. You've had time. They're not continuing everyday weigh-ins because I did start Weight Watchers. And I kind of just want to do weekly weigh-ins Monday to Monday. Okay, guys. So that's it. She's done her... Uh, daily weigh-ins she wants to do weekly weigh-ins because she's doing her Weight Watchers and that's what they do on the program they weigh in every week um, so her last weight I believe was 510 pounds so we'll see what it is next week we'll see um, how she's doing on Weight Watchers if it's going to you know help her with losing weight instead of the last you know 26 days of gaining um, that's it for me. I appreciate all of you guys watching and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.